crochet friends it's me Jonah and welcome back to another crochet show and tell I just finished making this amazing summertime crochet shawl it's the Karen rainbow crochet shawl and I use the amethyst colorway of the red heart roll with its sparkle and here's the diamonds colorway of the exact same yarn it's a worsted four weight and it's so beautiful and it has over 500 yards of yarn over 550 yards to be even more exact and this one is more neutral but this one right here in the amethyst colorway has royal blues that fades into lighter blues that has kind of like an ocean hue and then lavender there's a hint of lavender with some mauve and then over here there's a little bit of a there's a little bit of a darker purplish gray, and then it fades back into that kind of cyan blue. And then an added bonus, which isn't in the pattern, but which I'm gonna share how to do with you, is this bobble border. And how to do it is very simple. And it's actually just by making a bobble and then by slip stitching one extra chain, and then by going over a few stitches and repeating that. And I'm gonna share that with you. And this is kind of an asymmetrical shawl in an interesting way. And it's made over here and by following the pattern. And you can see how it's made in like two sections, even though it's made one direction following from left to right. And that's why cake yarns work very, very well for this pattern because of the way that it's made in a chevron design. And then you have that treble, treble crochets running down the center right here. And of course, I will show you that as well. And that's why this is also a great project for beginner crocheters as well. And so I'll be showing you how to do the half double crochets, the treble crochets, how to begin by putting the yarn on your hook and the bobbles as well. So let's get started. And if at any point you need to slow down the video, you feel free to do that just by clicking the bottom three dots or the gears whatever device you're using and also make sure to get the free written pattern which is in the description box down below so grab your yarn and your crochet hook and let's get started so here's the actual starting point of the crochet shawl it actually starts right here and is worked up until the ending point of the other shawl over here but the ending point is actually a row that goes like this and then it ends like this and the section on the other shawl where you go back and forth right here but there's a long row for the wider section it's kind of confusing to explain but if I pull over on the wider section here you can see the thinner section up here it just kind of abruptly comes to an end and that's because you just slowly close it off. But this section just keeps going. You, you'd never decrease this section. And then it just comes to a close. And that's only because you stop, you just stop the yarn. And that's the only reason that the shawl stops increasing right there. So this is the point again where the shawl begins. And it'll make sense as I start crocheting. So I'm going to take out some yarn that I'm going to begin crocheting with. So I'm going to start by putting a slip knot on my hook. And to do that, I'm going to make a loop with the yarn that's attached to the ball in front on my crochet hook. And then I'm going to pretend that I'm going to chain one to so yarn over the hook and pull through and then pull tight and that didn't count as a chain one that was just my slip knot and now I'm going to chain up four so yarn over pull through two three four and now I'm going to work two double crochets and do the fourth chain from the hook so one two three, four. So under the fourth chain from the hook, I'm going to yarn over, insert, pull up a loop, 
pull through two, pull through two. I need to do that again. Now row two is a little awkward. So I'm going to start by turning my work and then I'm going to chain up one followed by chaining up two. And then this does not count as a stitch. So then I'm going to work a half double crochet into the first stitch. So that's a yarn over and start under the top two loops, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through all three stitches. Then I'm going to skip the next double crochet, half double crochet into the last double crochet, which is the top of that chain three. Then I'm going to turn my work. And then for row, th row three, I'm going to start by chaining up three. This is all going to make sense once I start making the treble crochets. Then I'm going to half double crochet into this first stitch. And now I'm going to yarn over my hook twice and work two front post triple well, front post triple or treble crochets into the next stitch that I skipped right down here. This stitch right here. See it? It's going into the stitch that you skipped, that double crochet. It's going around the stitch it's going around the double crochet two rows below. That's a better way of saying it. So yarn over twice and go two rows below and go around the post, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, pull through two, and pull through two. And repeat that again. And then we're going to go right to the last half double crochet. And we're going to put two half double crochets and one double crochet. So two half double crochets and one half double crochet into the last stitch. Then we turn our work and chain up three. And then work a half double crochet. And then work two half double crochets. And then we're going to work a half double crochet into the next stitch. Skip over these two stitches. And then two half double crochets into the next stitch. And then a half double crochet into the next. and. A double crochet into that same stitch and now we chain three again and turn and now half double crochet into the first stitch and half double crochet into the next stitch and then treble crochet front post around the triple crochet front post stitches two rows below
and then skip four half double crochets in the back here. So one, two, three, four. So then work two half double crochets and then work one, two, and then work your actual double crochet to finish off the row. And then next up, it's time to begin working on row number six. And we're almost going to be to the part where it's going to be to the repeat. So then you work half double crochet, you work two half double crochets into the next stitch, half double crochet. And then once you get to these two stitches on the wrong side of your work, you always jump over these two right here. Those are your treble crochets. And then the last two, whenever you're on the whenever whenever you're on this side where you don't have the treble crochets, just know that the second to last is two treble crochets, and that the last is a the second to last is a two half double crochets, and then the last is a half double crochet double crochet and then turn your work half double crochet and then one half double crochet and then we're gonna yarn over twice and continue on as the treble crochet part of the pattern states. So then I'm gonna work the half double crochets after skipping four in the back. So then I'll also work half double crochets, half double crochets, half double crochet, and end up with a double crochet. One, two, three. And now these are the rows that make the repeat. So these are the very important rows. Rows eight and nine. These are the two rows that you'll have to repeat for most, if not, yeah, all, pretty much all of the shawl. Except for when you have to decrease for that one portion and of course this tiny starting portion. So let's restart again. So here we go. Here's row eight. One, two, three. Half double crochet in the first stitch. Two half double crochets into the next stitch. One half double crochet in each stitch. And then skip these two stitches right here, which are the triple crochets. And then in these last two, work two half double crochets. And then in the top of this chain three, work a half double crochet and a double crochet. And then in for row number nine, we're gonna work chain three, half double crochet, and then you're gonna work another half double crochet, 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 and now we're gonna work our two treble crochets. And this will always happen on the right side. You'll never have to do this on the you'll never have to do this on the other side.
And then I'm gonna finish off with two half double crochets and a double crochet into that stitch. And now the decreasing part, I'm gonna leave out cause I'm gonna let you go to the pattern for that, which I'll put in the- Is the bobble crochet edge. And here it is on the actual shawl itself. And you can see that they're spaced three stitches apart and how I put them across the top edge. But you can put them really anywhere you'd like. You can put them on one edge, two edges, or even all the way around on all three edges of your triangular shawl. And you can add this edge to blankets, you can add it to scarves, you can add it to so many different crochet projects. So it's a really versatile edging, but it's really good for shawls. So let's get started on the bubble edging. So I'm gonna pull out my sample from earlier and just insert my crochet hook right here. I'm going to pull off some blue yarn. Till I get to my starting point and make a slip knot and join that onto the hook. And then right off the bat, I'm going to chain up five. One, two, three, four, and five. And then I'm going to yarn over and work a bobble in the fourth chain from the hook. So that's a yarn over, insert into the fourth chain from the hook, pull up a loop, pull through two. Yarn over, insert, pull up a loop, and over, pull through two. And repeat this again until you have three of those double crochets. Not finished, halfway finished. And do it again, then you have four, and do it again, then you have five. And then stop here, and you'll have six loops on your crochet hook. And then you're going to yarn over and pull through all six of those loops on your crochet hook. And then next, you're going to slip stitch into the next chain. And into each of the next three stitches. And if you're working along an edge that has back loops, it would be the next three back loops. But the edge I'm working along doesn't have back loops, so it's just the next three stitches. So that's one bobble down. So I'm going to proceed to chain up five again. Three, four, and five. Now it's time to work another bobble. So I'll yarn over, insert, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. And I'll repeat this a total of five times in this spot. Three, four, and five. And then now that I have six loops on my hook, I'm going to yarn over and pull through all those loops. And then I'm going to slip stitch into the next chain and into the next three stitches, which in this case are the sides of the next rows. And I'm evenly spacing them as I go. And since these are double crochet, I'll be placing two slip stitches in every double crochet row, because that's kind of the rule of thumb when it comes to crochet. But give or take, depending on how tight or loose you crochet your slip stitches. And you can adjust your tension as well, or adjust your hook size, whichever one is easier and gives you the best finished effect. four, five, and then yarn over and pull through all those loops and slip stitch. And some other ideas for when you're doing this bobble are to space them out farther apart because here you can see that they're kind of spaced closely together but you could work out five slip stitches or seven slip stitches or 
You could even do one or two if you wanted them closer together. And another thing you could do was you could make the chains longer, like chain up more and then work a thicker bobble or a smaller bobble at the end of the chain. So these are really customizable to whatever project you're working on. So they're super versatile. Continue with the double crochet and then yarn over and pull through all six loops. Slip stitch into the next stitch. And then since I'm working into the sides of these rows, just slip stitch into the next stitches, not into the back loops. But for say, if you were working here on this row, you would be slip stitching into the back loops of the next stitches or under both loops or under the front loops, whatever you'd like to do. It's really up to you. So now we're going to work a double crochet, not finishing the last step, a second one, a third one, a fourth one, and a fifth one, all in the fourth chain from the hook. And then we're going to yarn over and crochet them all together. And then slip stitch into the next chain and into the next three stitches. And this is the effect it has. And it creates these nice tight bobbles that are pretty close to the fabric, but you can extend them, bring them down, whatever you'd like. I'll do a few more just for repetition to make sure you get the idea. Yarn over and pull through, and then slip stitch, slip stitch, slip stitch, and then slip stitch once into the next stitch. And I'll do one last bobble. So chain up three, plus your additional two for five. And then work all your stitches into the fourth chain from the hook. So that's one, two, three, four, five. And then yarn over and pull through. Slip stitch into the next stitch and into the next one. And that's what it looks like so far. Now you can also add a single crochet edging across and then add the bobbles after that. It really depends on what you're going for. If I kind of turn my shawl this way, you can see the effect that it creates. So it can look kind of completely different. Here, it makes it look kind of like it's sitting right on top of the shawl, which is kind of the effect I prefer. But you can also add a single crochet and then do the bobbles if you want it to look like that. So I'm going to lay this down and then snip it and then fasten off. And of course, I'm not just going to end my bobbles in the middle of the row, but I could change the different color, maybe throw some white in there, uh, just pick it back up at another time. Really do whatever I wanted and make this sample just really cool and give it a big spark of inspiration. And that's really all there is to the amethyst crochet shawl. And you can do this in so many different colorways and really take it and do whatever you want to it to make it your own shawl. And that's pretty much all there is to this crochet rainbow shawl, or in this case, the crochet amethyst shawl. And as you can see, the bobble edging is a big addition to this shawl. And with that treble crochet thing running down the center of the shawl and the chevron pattern throughout and the little touch of sparkle, 
it makes a beautiful shawl and it's lightweight and drapey. And you can also see how when you make it in different samples with different yarns and different hook sizes and even change up colors, you can get so many different looks. And this would be really, really interesting if I made it much larger, of course, and it wasn't just the sample. And I can't wait to see what yours turn out like. So make sure to send me a picture on my Instagram page, Jonah Hands, and check out my website, jonahands.com. Crochet away, friends.